All right, everyone, the problem says, if 9.0 liters of NO are reacted with excess O2 at STP, what is the volume in liters of NO2 produced? So as always, what does the problem give us? Well, we get 9.0 liters of NO. So let's write that under NO in our chemical equation, 9.0 liters. And what are we looking for? We are looking for the volume in liters of NO2 produced. So how many liters of NO2 will 9.0 liters of NO produce if it reacts as this chemical equation shows? So from our information from the problem, we know this is a gas stoichiometry problem. And that's because we are dealing with one or more gases. That's what this little uh, G here means next to some of our reactants or products in our chemical equation. So what we can do here is set up our regular stoichiometry as we would, which going from liters to liters would take three steps. So we could write our 9.0 liters to start, and that is of NO. And in the end, we want so many liters of NO2. And going liters to liters or volume to volume would take three steps. However, because this problem is going volume to volume or liters to liters, you really only need one step for this. And I'll show you that after we do the complete stoichiometry here. Okay, so if we're starting with liters of NO2, that's our unit that we're beginning with, we need to put that on the bottom of our first conversion factor, so it cancels out. And we can go from liters to moles. Generally in stoichiometry, you always wanna to get to moles first. So we wanna to get to moles of NO. So I need to know the relationship between liters and moles of NO, also called the molar volume. Well, the problem says we are at STP. STP standing for standard temperature and pressure. And we know at STP, one mole of any gas is 22.4 liters. So that's what we're gonna use for our first conversion factor where one mole will go on top and 22.4 liters will go on the bottom. All right, so looking at our units, liters of NO are going to cancel because it's on top and bottom and we're at moles of NO. So that will go on the bottom of our second conversion factor and using our coefficients, we can go to moles of what we want, which would be NO2. So what's our relationship between moles of NO and moles of NO2? Well, that will be our coefficients. So we have a two in front of NO and a two in front of NO2. So we will have a two in front of moles of NO and we will have a two in front of moles of NO2 and our units of moles of NO will cancel. Okay, so then our last step, we want to get rid of moles of NO2 and convert to what we're looking for, which is liters of NO2. What's the relationship between moles and liters? Well, we already talked about this. If it's any gas, one mole is 22.4 liters. So again, we have one mole, except it's on the bottom this time, and we have 22.4 liters on top. So moles of NO2 will cancel, and we are left with exactly the unit we need, which is liters of NO2. So now we can do the math here. So if we bring out our calculator, we are going to start with 9.0. We will multiply by the top and then divide by the bottom of each conversion factor, skipping ones because they won't change our answer. So we will divide by 22.4. We will then multiply by two and divide by two. 
and then lastly multiply by 22.4. Hit equals and we get nine. So looking at significant figures, we would have two, so that would be 9.0. So our final answer would be 9.0 liters of NO2. Now you may have already noticed this, but two of our steps are the exact same except flipped. This first step here and this second step here are the exact same but flipped. And that's because again, if we are talking any gas, it doesn't matter what it is, at STP, one mole equals 22.4 liters. So if you are going from liters to liters, you technically don't need this entire first step and you don't need this third step, you can just do the middle one. In other words, our mole ratios or our coefficients that we use to go from moles of NO to moles of NO2, our mole ratios become our volume ratios. You can go directly from volume using your coefficients. So if we wanted to set that up that way, we would have 9.0 liters of NO. We would multiply by one conversion factor to get two liters of NO2 and we would only need liters of NO on the bottom and we could go directly to liters of NO2 using just our coefficients as what we would call our volume ratios. Okay, Liters of NO would cancel out and we'd just be doing 9 times 2 over 2 which won't change our answer so our final answer is 9.0 okay so there you have it gas stoichiometry for going liters to liters if 9.0 liters of NO react with excess O2 at STP what volume in liters of NO2 will be produced well that will be 9.0 all right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.